Hi, Libra. Let's just look at and see what the cards have to say. I really appreciate your patience with me getting this reading out. It's Mercury retrograde. Um, I really wanted to get these readings done a week ago, but here we are. Um, things happen, and I feel like you're just going to hear about um, more things and more things and more things. Don't let this time confuse you um, because I feel like you have some brilliant opportunities coming up and it's going to be an amazing especially as we get back into another cardinal after the mutable Sagittarius season as we move into the winter right we'll get into Capricorn where it's cardinal energy again and I sort of feel like when we get into Capricorn season or maybe even after the first of the year like I can't wait to do your six month forecast for 2020 because I feel like it's going to be lit. And um, so, and I feel like you're hearing about, or you're either hearing about it, you're getting messages. It feels like you're getting messages. Either you're hearing about it from other people about a whole bunch of opportunities. So the Page of Wands, the Ace of Wands with the Seven of Cups. So either you're getting like the nudge to do these opportunities um, or you're or literally somebody's actually saying hey I have an opportunity for you either way this can't I feel like this can't come at a perfect time like there's definitely um, you know I mean if there was such thing as a perfect moment in time for you a lot of this has to do with um, your stability and it's almost like you've been waiting for this moment and for this opportunity for some time. And now all of a sudden, it's it's like it's like a big old universal gift is being handed, or a bunch of them, or several opportunities. You're gonna have several opportunities, right? So and you and you wanted this to happen. And it's really interesting because I feel like you almost wanted it to happen. Like you're like, it doesn't even got it doesn't even have to be on a big scale. Right with the page of cups doesn't even have to be on doesn't even have to be like a, a huge deal. I just need to. I got. I'm. I'm just. You know. I got to catch a break. It feels like there's something, some opportunities that that are going to be that break for you. And I feel like they're coming around. And a lot of it has to do with your stability, your surroundings, your environment, what you have invested yourself into building um so i really like this energy i really like this energy especially for you guys um i because i you know it's so funny is i feel like we hit like leo and virgo season and you guys sort of have like free reign and feel the ease of all the season and like getting through it's just you know we 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 get through all of these seasons and then we get to a certain point and you start to feel a little stuck. And that's usually once we hit like Scorpio season. Towards the end of it, as we're moving into Sagittarius, you guys start to feel a little bit stuck. Like, and, and I feel like a lot of times that's because you're looking into the past. What have I accomplished? You're looking into the last year. What have I accomplished? When we get to the end of the year, Libras tend to say to themselves, like, what did I do this year? That was that made me a success that made me successful and um when you're doing that you're seeing how much you've grown this year you're you're and you're allowing yourself to see the changes that you had to make for those for that growth right and you're watching you're literally watching and probably talking about it and probably um getting groups of people together you know you're you're literally watching your dreams come into fruition and you're speaking them into existence and again i feel like it's showing up in a much bigger way like if you are trying to build your business in some way 
and you're just like, I just need a little boost, right? Just need a little tiny boost. Um, or you're like waiting for a raise and you're like, I'm not really expecting that much, but I am expecting a raise. I feel like you're kind of caught by surprise. This Ace of Wands to me makes me feel like there's sort of this spark or catalyst um, of, of opportunities that start showing up. And it's like, oh yeah, you thought you wanted this tiny little thing. Well, here you go in like exponential big sizes. You're welcome, says the universe, right? You're welcome. Um, but it's been a long time coming. So when it happens, I do think that you're a little bit shocked by the growth. Um, I think that you're also a little bit taken aback by what you've had to lose, maybe, in order to get in order to get to where you are today. That five of cups on the ace of wands says a lot. I don't want you to dwell on what you had to lose in order to get here because whatever it is that you had to lose to get here, you're going to get back in, in, big, in big ways. And the reason why I can say that is because I know that you, you're going to make it so. Right, you'll 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 get back whatever you lost in really big ways because you will make it that way. So the seven of cups. Let's see. So you're dealing with an earth sign that might be a little bit confusing right now. I don't think you know what to do with this earth sign. And maybe there are a lot of options on what to do. This could also be a lot of options into making you money and turn it, you could be the king of pentacles. Let's see what this page of cups is because I'm curious how much bigger um, I feel like when you originally manifested sorry I have like a piece of hair that's like tickling my lip it's very weird hold on one second so I have a feeling, thanks thanks for letting me get that thing off my lip. Um, I have a feeling that when you first manifested what it is, all of these opportunities and this really big thing, you didn't, you, you sort of had a gut feeling that you were going to get more than what you were manifesting, but the expectation was small, right? Um, also, the high priestess on the page of cups is also giving me a very Neptunian are I are you playing small with your gifts right now Libra I feel like it's time for you to expand upon your gifts and I feel like this Neptunian energy that we're getting during this time of Scorpio season when the veil is already very thin is the perfect time for you to do that um, I feel like there is a huge opportunity for growth and I think a lot of that has to do with your own intuitive gifts so I don't know like if you're already if you're already a person that reads tarot like me like maybe because I know in the last year being a Libra rising my clairvoyance has popped but I know that there's so much more that I have within myself that I really play very small so I'm resonating with that message um, my Libra rising is definitely resonating with that message. But for some of you, you don't yet know what your gifts are and they're just starting to emerge. And some of that, and maybe that's part of the opportunity that's coming up 
is your gifts are starting to emerge and you're like, oh, wow, I could really do something with this, you know? Like I never in a million years thought that I was going to have a YouTube channel, but that was the nudge that I got over and over and over again. So I sort of pushed myself into doing it and um, because I got the nudge more times than, and so I feel like some of you were playing small with your gifts and Scorpio season, Mercury retrograde is bringing you the opportunity to grow and to plant some more seeds and to allow yourself to see a bigger and brighter future than what you were currently had, what you had that really just brought you down, right? Like, why are, why are you focused on what you used to have instead of focusing on what you will have? The Seven of Pentacles on the Three of Wands, I mean, you can plant the seeds all you want, and watch them grow all you want. But if it's not your journey that you're supposed to be on, if you're supposed to be doing something else, it's never going to come into fruition, right? So I want you, okay. I feel like you, you're getting very easily frustrated right now. And I feel like a lot of that has to do with the fact that you want more. You just want more out of life and you want more out of um, where you've allowed yourself to be already. And you're seeing your value. You're seeing all of the things that you have been manifesting starting to come into fruition. And the more you see it and the more you see the value of who you are, you want more. Um, please watch yourself in the family setting. I feel like your nerves could be a little bit frayed during this time. Um, a lot of this, and, and I don't want you to like lose your shit and feel unstable and unbalanced because you lost your shit, right? So the Knight of Swords on the Four of Wands, let's try and watch our words, watch our tempers. And I mean, everybody's human. I'm not telling you that you're gonna, you're gonna be perfect. I know it's gonna be okay that you're not perfect. Um, but I do want you to allow yourself the time to see where, you know, let this, use this Mercury retrograde as a time to see how far you've come this year and how far, how much you've grown already. Because um, I don't want you to play small anymore. You are manifesting, I mean, the magician and the star, like, I almost don't want to pull any more cards. I want you to give all of your energy to manifesting, you know, Six of Pentacles, manifesting your own destiny. Focus on your journey. Focus on instead of constant, because the Six of Pentacles is asking you, where are you placing your energies? Are you giving it to people, places, and things that are no longer serving you? Or are you giving it to people, places, and things that are a part of your journey, a part of your um, story? And everybody's part of the story, right? Be honest with yourself. And uh, be honest with the people around you. Page of Swords on the Queen of Cups. Be honest, but don't be mean. You see? Because your ultimate happiness, it's really up to you to decide on that Seven of Swords and the Ten of Cups. Are you lying to yourself about this Ten of, like what this Ten of Cups really looks like? Is this Ten of Cups really for you? Is it something that is going to be beneficial to you? Or have you been lying to yourself the whole time? You know what I mean? 
have you, because I feel like that seven of swords is more like, this is the way I wanted my ten of cups to look like. And so that's what I've been telling myself. But in reality, the universe has been trying to give you a different ten of cups that's going to be so much better and so much bigger, right? So stop playing small. Stop playing, don't play small. And focusing on your journey and your own happiness is huge, right? Huge, 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 huge right now. Because ultimately, nobody else and nothing else is going to make you happy. You are going to make yourself happy. And um, if you would like some help with that, the workshop that I'm giving on November 10th, which is Sunday, it's the last self-alignment workshop I'm doing for the year. It's cheaper than a reading. Um, it will be recorded. So if you can't come to the live workshop, you will get a recording of it. And it's to help you align yourself to living your best life, manifesting your best life. And I can tell you that, I mean, like I'm so proud of this workshop because every single point that I make in it, I've actually practiced it. I've practiced what I preached. And um, I've, I'm teaching myself and I'm still in the, you know, we're always learning. I'm a student of the universe. I'm always learning more and better and bigger things. And one of the things is being aware of my own happiness, Libra, being aware of my own happiness, focusing myself on my own journey and not allowing myself to stray from that. And so, um, you know, that's why I wanted to do the workshop. I, I am so proud of it. It is something, it, it was definitely a labor of love. It was kind of an aha moment in my life. And um, I love that I get to share it with you guys. So um, that's on the table. This is, that's the last time I'll be doing it this year. I don't even think I'll be doing it next year because I'm already starting to work on another workshop for next year that's gonna be just as powerful and amazing as this one. So um, that's why I'm sort of pushing like, get on the workshop. Also, we do weekly meditations. The next meditation will be on November 11th, 11-11. Um, and then we'll do a full moon in Taurus ritual. So if you if you would be interested in doing any of the meditations, um, all of that information is in the description box below. You can also get a reading with me. I do have some openings in the last two weeks of November. So um, go to my website, fearlessintuition.net. I love you guys. And, you know, we've been searching for ourselves for a couple of years now. And um, I say that because I am very much a Libra rising. I am so, and it, it took me a very long time to be okay with that because I've had some run-ins with Libra son. My ex-husband is a Libra son and I see his, I see him in a different way now. Um, it's, it's more of a blessing. <laughs> I love my Libra rising side of me. Um, I've really grown to love it. And the last couple of years have been huge with growth and Libras and our happiness is key right now because you could easily slip into not feeling so hot about yourself and we've come so far. So like I want to get emotional. We've come so far. So um, allow yourself to see the beauty in that and allow yourself to see all the things that you have coming for you, okay? I love you guys. Have a wonderful rest of your November, and uh, we'll talk soon. Bye.